Welcome to User and I, the channel where I explore all things UX and UI design. And this week we're back with our fifth Gustav principle, and that is called Common Fate. And we can describe this as elements that are synchronized or coordinated in movement are likely to be part of the same group. So when you think of this principle, I want you to think about animation, movement. That's it. Here's a video of a flock of birds, and we can tell that because of the movement of the birds, we can we know that they are grouped elements. We know that there's a there's a relationship between them, and that's what I want you to remember whenever you think of this principle. Another thing to remember is that it's also strong enough to override other principles. So as an example, we have here six circles. There's two circles that vary in size and in color, but there are six circles. Now the principle of proximity will tell you that there's three groups here. The two circles to the left, the two circles in the middle, and the two circles on the far right. Once we start to take into account common fate, we start to find that despite the similarity, despite the proximity, we can start building relationships with animation and movement. And when that movement is completed, those other principles start to take place again. So that's how important this principle is. Now you might start to think, well, in our designs, in our prototypes, where can we see this? How can we use this? How can we communicate relationship using movement? Well, let's take a drop down for an example. It's a way to condense a series of related items, related options that we might want to use at a click, right? And if we start to open that drop down, we start to see the options and the items move in the exact same way and animate out. And this is a very, very good example of common fate coming into play. Interestingly enough, there's also a combination of other principles taking place here. We've got similarity again, we've got proximity again, and we also have common ground, which is one we haven't explored just yet, but we will in another video. Other areas where we can see common fate taking place in our designs are accordions and tooltips. They all animate out in the same way. The movement of those elements will communicate to us on a single page that those items are related. They're additional information when it comes to a tooltip, or it's an accordion where it's going to reveal more information. They all move in the same way. And that's it for Common Fate. We're working through these and I hope you've really enjoyed this series so far. We're going to move on to continuation next and I'll see you on the next video.